Daebu Island, the small island on the west coast of Korea. Ilse Linders is a photographer who records the peaceful and free atmosphere of the island. The fragrance of culture permeating Korea is awakening her artistic sensibility. Brightly colored parasols dot the quiet beach. The models holding the parasols are also volunteers from overseas. Ilsa concentrates on her work with a serious expression on her face. No, the water has to be exactly on the... Oh. What significance would the colorful parasols and the sea have from a photographer's perspective? Or I saw this parasol. This colored parasol all uh, everywhere on this island and also uh, in Gyeongju and Seoul. So it's a very daily life thing uh, that I wanted to use in this picture. Now she is taking pictures of Korea from her own unique point of view. I think it's uh, really nice and it's a really good experience because you get to know all the process of art, not just like the finished work on the museum or gallery. After the shoot, Ilse heads over to a creation center on Daebu Island. Ilse is actually in Korea as a resident artist, participating in Gyeonggi Creation Center's research residency program. This program, in which domestic and overseas artists live together for three months in the same facility and carry on creative activities, is popular among overseas artists. I came here and visited first some gardens in Seoul and in Gyeongju to see how these uh, traditional gardens were made. And then I made these ideas inspired by this garden, so it's a contemporary idea. I mixed up those, um, those old ideas uh, they used by making these gardens, um, together with uh, things I saw in Debuda Island and uh, around, my, my traveling around. If an idea doesn't come to her while she's working, she visits other artists. One of the great advantages of living here is that each artist has his or her own individual studio, but they can also share their creative process with each other. Korean photographer Ho Tae-won is Ilse's artistic partner who inspires her. She was able to understand Korea better through him, and Taewon was able to learn about the Dutch art world through Ilsa. Visitors are the main subject here at Kyunggi Creation Center. The visitors who appreciate the exhibited works and identify with them are a huge encouragement to the artists. 
The center hosts an event called Creative Art Camp on the Island to rouse the interests of visitors and to familiarize them with art. The families that participate in the camp stay with the artists for one night and two days. They get to experience various creative activities with art and nature as the medium. Everyone who is currently standing with a brush in hand to color the small fishing village with the colors of culture is an artist. On the wide wall, children are freely expressing their thoughts. There's no need to worry about drawing well or about not having artistic talent. As long as they're enjoying this moment, they are enjoying culture to the fullest as agents of culture. The ideas and thoughts of everyone here came together and created a fabulous mural. 예술가들이 와가지고 직접 그림을 그리는 것보다 지역민이나 자원봉사자들이 이렇게 이제 함께 와서 예술가가 멘토가 되고 이제 멘티 역할이 되면서 자연스럽게 그림을 이렇게 그려내면은 이게 지역의 공동체로서도 조성하는데 의미가 있고 이런 일안들이 이게 적극적으로 좀 참여하는데 예술가들도 많은 생각들을 하게 되는 그런 기회가 될것 같아요. The special cultural experience on Daebu Island, a small island in Korea, will remain a happy memory to everyone who visited here, and it will provide a strong basis for a positive outlook on life. The street is full of foreigners, but this is not a street in a foreign country. This is a Korean traditional market in Pyeongtaek. The vendors began gathering here when the U.S. military base was built in Pyeongtaek 60 years ago. Consequently, the small traditional market that formed became a small global village in the middle of Korea. These talented musicians are all vendors in this market. They learned to play the traditional Korean percussion instruments in order to save the traditional market that was declining with the advent of major supermarkets. <laughs> Along with the traditional Korean percussion performance, the night market, which is the pride of Pyeongtaek International Central Market, has opened. The festival begins in earnest as the flamboyant pink tent bars and parasols open everywhere. The street cart bars where foreigners showcase the cuisines of their homelands are one of the most popular places in the night market. Many people seek out this place for the fun of seeing unique craft works and foods from all over the world. Uh, we try our best to bring them here so we build up the community between foreigner and Korean. 
So I hope the Korean comes, try the food, try the foreign culture, and then talk to the foreigners and be closer and then know the foreigner well. That's the best thing about this uh, program. I like it. I like it. That's why I, I, I want to be in this program to, to get to more about the Korean, Korean culture and be friend with them. There are no boundaries here. The fact that we're different from each other makes it more refreshing. People naturally conduct cultural exchanges as they sell and buy items. More than just a place for buying and selling of goods, Pyeongtaek International Central Market is a place to share happiness. Too many different people here. I'm making some beers from here, kebab. Or some people come here. I want to see different people. Then I'm happy. I want to speak to somebody. There's many, many country people come here. You know, lots of people I see here. Then I'm happy. But it's Korean, best country. Then it's good. People friendly. Korean people friendly. It's a nice country. Everywhere is good. All, all good. Suddenly, the atmosphere becomes charged at another part of the market. Regardless of age, men, women, and children are all having fun shooting at each other with squirt guns. It's not just a place to sell things, but a cultural space where various things to see and do exist. This is the current image of Pyeongtaek International Central Market. <laughs> This is a place that anyone visiting Pyeongtaek International Central Market must stop by. It's Salon M Cultural Center. Salon M is an open rest area for anyone who is visiting the market. A free bakery experience event is being held here today. Making my own donut with my own hands. Everyone has a happy expression as they participate in this unique event. It was culture that brought back customers to the market that was at a crossroads. And this brought smiles back to vendors. Wanju Chalapukto. People are beginning to seek out this once quiet country village. It's because the village was reborn as a culture and arts village through the exchanges between local residents and the artists who made the granary built in the Japanese occupational era their home. 
A whole new world unfolds before your eyes once you set foot in this old warehouse that is almost 100 years old. At Visual Media Art Gallery, new creative works that are a cross between science and art are on display. From its wooden columns to latticework, the inside of the building is preserved in the way it was before. The old warehouse was turned into a space for fun cultural experiences by the hands of artists. Some artists even moved their studios here. This is woodcraft artist Kim Sung Nim. This is a place where you can actually touch, carve, and polish wood. The characteristic of traditional Korean wood artwork is to show the intrinsic properties of the wood. As you carefully polish the wood, the unique grain of the wood comes alive. Time spent in classes like this lowers the threshold of art and makes the meeting of everyday life and art possible. Mr. Kim Sang-nim lets the world know about the beautiful Korean style and grace by displaying his collection of traditional Korean wooden furniture and woodwork tools that he has been collecting for a long time. With the tools, special tools, and the kind of furniture is marvelous for me. I have very good feeling. The object of wood uh, they are with movement uh, and it's very nice and feel very kindly. Another interesting space where you can experience things in Samre Culture and Arts Village is the bookmaking workshop, Book Arts Center. The history of letterpress printing that is slowly disappearing due to the general trend of e-books is on display here. This place is special because not only can we look at books, but we can also make them. In this program, you get to make your own diary. Programs like this are open to anyone, such as people from nearby villages to tourists, as long as you've made reservations in advance. The work is unfamiliar and awkward. But just by gluing in the right places, handling the leather and concentrating in class, they are able to produce quite stylish leather diaries. My own unique diary. They pour out their own stories on the first page.
있는 세상에서 살다가 이게 특별히 나만의 하나의 어떤 것을 만들 수 있다고 하니까 그래서 오히려 더 이게 그런 것도 아닌데 너무 이렇게 정감이 가고 자꾸만 이렇게 손에 이렇게 잡고 싶은 네, 그런 마음도 좋네요. 이곳에 오시면 나만의 책을 직접 내가 만들 수 있고 여기에 나의 이야기를 기록하는 것입니다. 그리고 먼 훗날 내가 만든 책, 내 손으로 만든 책, 내가 기록한 책들을 보면서 회상할 수 있고요. 또한 가지 꿈은 여기에 들어오는 젊은 아이들이 책을 만들어 볼수 있는 이런 문화적인 마을을 원하고 있습니다. The cheerful songs and performances coming from the outdoor concert hall of Samre Culture and Arts Village are attracting an audience. The people currently performing are the members of the Life, Culture and Arts Club in Wanju. Just like the name suggests, the club is for people who've gathered together to enjoy culture and arts in their lives. 어, 예술 동아리들을 뒷받침해 준다는 소문을 듣고 우리들이 엄마들이지만 우리도 해보자 그리고 즐겁게 기쁘게 기타 동아리를 시작했거든요 그런데 어, 삼리 토박이로 자라난 우리들이 이곳에서 이렇게 노래를 하고 또 배운 기타를 통해서 다른 사람들에게 나눌 수 있는 기회도 있고 이렇게 아름다운 동아리를 갖게 해주셔서 정말로 감사합니다 어, 이곳 삼례 문화예술처는 오래된 핵 건물을 활용한 새로운 문화예술 프로젝트인데 어, 이곳을 주민들과 행정과 전문가가 같이 참여해서 문화예술을 즐기는 것뿐이 아니라 참여해서 이곳의 주인공들은 주민이 되는 것이고요. 이 문화예술천을 통해서 올라해가는 이 도시를 새롭게 살리는 주인공들이 주민이 되는 그런 의미가 있습니다. Culture has the power to enrich our lives. The culture that breaks free from the domains of the artists to flow freely in people's lives, especially have such power. Cultural prosperity makes the people who create it happy and the people who observe it happier. It's the blissful wind of change blowing through Korea.